opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Bangalore against Rajasthan. Bangalore have just had a game recently. Rajasthan haven't also played too long ago. We still seem to remember the last Butler innings yet again. So they're having a quick turnaround, Harsha. And uh, this is a battle at the very top. I would like to see Rajasthan win without a huge contribution from Butler. At the moment, Butler is playing on a different planet. And so he's taking the entire side along with him. At some point, Butler is going to fail. And I'd like to see on that day, I'd like to see the Patikas, the Samsons, the Hetmyers. Maybe they're playing Karun Nair now. Those kind of players to stand up. What if uh, Butler keeps giving starts like those? Where is that game? Let's try and see what. Well, it doesn't matter for Butler. It's at Pune. The game is. Well, it, uh, there. it's the. I'll just tell you where the game is, Harsha. It's yeah. the only one of the four where he hasn't made 100 yet. There you go. <laughs> I mean, if he makes 100 again. What, whatever. But the incentive for Rajasthan Royals, and it's a place they haven't recognized for a long time, is they go top of the table if they win. Because they will be level on points with Gujarat Titans and ahead on net run rate. And I'll tell you what, if you meet anybody who tells you that just past the halfway point, Gujarat Titans and Rajasthan Royals would be on top, push them back because their nose is touching the wall. <laughs> Nobody expected this. It's been some IPL, this. It certainly has. Uh, so, Butler plus 10. Let's look at the Rajasthan squad and see if uh, they need to add anything in terms of that or subtract anything in terms of their personnel. Uh, uh, the one, the new face, if you like, in this latter half of the first half has been Obed McCoy for them, Simon. And he's certainly added a little dimension to it, especially because he hasn't been seen enough in these parts. Yeah, absolutely. Look, he's got he's got some good weapons. He's got some good slow balls. He's uh, he's a player that uh, the West Indies have have um, you know played whenever they could. He's, he's had trouble with his shin splits. I was, I was actually asking about it. He said it was well. We heard it was shin splits. I was talking to him after the first game he played. He was nervous as anything um, post that game as well. And he said he was nervous bowling the last over, but it was actually cracked. His shin bone was cracked, and they thought it was shin splits the whole way along. Um, so mm. he's had to wait for that to heal, rather than just a normal case of shin splits. It was wow. um, it was a lot Definitely. more severe than that. If, yeah. if a bone is cracked, does it ever become fully strong again? I mean, he's a young man, so it'll heal mm. fully. I, I think he's. Yeah. I, I mean, he seems like he's okay now. But he, you know, everyone kept telling him when he kept being diagnosed one way, and eventually they, they figured out it was actually cracked. Um, so he just had to take time off it and, and, and wait for it to heal. Um, and it's it's all good now. And uh, he's back in the mixer. So, um, yeah, he's been a good asset for, for Rajasthan. Um, look, they're, they're still winning. They're, they're picking the same team. They're, they're, they're playing, I think, with, with 10 men and, and a half a man. But um, they, they just keep they keep picking the same side. And, um, yeah. you know, they, they keep winning. Yeah, well, so you, it's hard to complain, isn't it? What they've done is they've gone with... Uh, They've gone with five full bowlers. Hmm. And they're saying, right, five bowlers, you bowl your 20. If it comes to that, we'll get an over or two here and there, but we'll go five, five yeah. bowlers. And if that is the plan, and if Yashasvi Jaiswal is indeed fit, and they send him back and say, okay, you go and just just be the battering ram, just go and hit your way, hmm. hit your way through and give us the starts, that could just make the batting a little stronger. But then if the particle is just starting to get back into form top of the order, so maybe not Yashasvi. But otherwise, I mean, they're, they're a good side. Um, Karun Nair, yeah, I, I hope he does well. Karun Nair hasn't had a great record behind him. So, they are what? They're Butler, Samson, Padikal, Hetmeyer, the, the, the four batsmen. Yeah, I mean, if I'm if I'm Padikal or um, or Yashasvi Jaiswal, I'm bowling in the nets. I'm, I'm, I'm finding a way to, 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 you know, to figure out some offspin. Just do something. I mean, surely I, I can offer. Surely I can offer as much as, as Rian Parag is offering. Jaiswal does ball. ball. Like Jaiswal we ball. He does. Yeah. He does. Mm. Yeah. So he comes straight back into the side if he's fit, uh, and that just strengthens their batting all the way. Then they actually play with six batters and five bowlers, because uh, yeah. at the moment they're just not quite getting that. In fact, Yashasvi is is one of the rare breed. He's a he's a leg break bowler, and uh, does a fair bit of bowling mm. in in uh, local T20 competitions as oh. well. But just one interesting thing to add: the last time they played in Pune. Um, they got 210 for six. And guess who didn't got too many? Josh Butler. He got 35 mm. of 28. 
it was Jaiswal with a start. Samson 55 of 27, Parikal 41 of 29, batting at four. Hetmeyer finished well with three sixes, and they got mm. 210. And the only person who didn't perform was Nathan Kultanayal, who got hit for 50 in his three overs, and it was bye bye. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Hetmeyer is a good player, man. Yeah, I mean they've yeah. got a they've got a good bowling attack, and I think that's the one thing that we've always said about Rajasthan is that that they've struggled with their bowling combinations and getting their bowling combinations right. I just think they've got a very, very good bowling attack. And it goes back to the point Harsh made earlier and the point we talk about often, you know, bowling, bowlers win you tournaments. They win you competitions. Um, and batters, all, batters have to shine as well. They have to put runs on the board, but bowlers and bowling attacks can win you competitions. And and these guys in, in Rajasthan in particular have now got a really high quality five uh, prong bowling attack. Bangalore not looking too bad in that department either. This is where they've had problems in the past. They're starting to fix it. To what extent it's been fixed, we'll uh, probably see it later in the tournament. But for now, with Hazelwood in the mix there, Ashal Patel, after the bereavement, he's back in the scheme of things. Shabazz has been contributing. Little, probably the one disappointment in terms of sheer impact has been one into Hasran Garsha. Uh, he's just tailed off. A couple of people have just tailed off. Asarang has just tailed off, especially his batting. I think he should contribute more with the bat. But he only gets two or three balls. Yeah, his bowling has just tailed off a little bit. But I think he'll come back. They will They will stay with him. They need to look at Anuj Rawat again and see if they could do something about Anuj Rawat there. Should they go back to a Rajat Patidar who played, with, played last year a little bit? Or could they go to a Mahipal Lombror who's also a left-hander? Because uh, Anuj Rawat has had one good innings and they've, they've stuck with him. But you look down that side, if you had told me that they would be, they would have won five games out of eight with nothing from Virat, you would have said, no, nah, no chance. No AB this year, even if Virat's not scoring, will they be five out of eight? So I, I think that's good. And much like Rajasthan Royals, look, Siraj can sometimes be expensive, but Hazelwood is twice the bowler that he was uh, before he went to Chennai Super Kings last year. So uh, Harshal Patel, uh, Hasaranga. So they've also got a pretty good bowling side. Uh, it's just the top order uh, they need to sort with with uh, Faf, Anuj Rawat and... Uh, would they cons I mean, would there be any consideration? It's hard to say when you're winning, isn't it? Would there be any consideration of playing a Karan Sharma and, and dropping Hasaranga for a game or two and maybe dropping Anuj Rawat and bringing in Finn Allen? Finn Allen. I was Finn just going to say, top of the order. I mean, that um, could be an explosive top order. Yeah, I mean, you could look at that um, or you could bring in Shafane Rutherford in the middle order and open with Coley. Uh, and and Faf mm. Duplessis, uh, and then maybe look at um, look at Finn Allen. Uh, sorry, look at Shafane Rutherford to bat in the middle order, or Finn Allen to bat at three, whichever way you want to go about that. And just play Karan Sharma. I mean, at the moment, Hasaranga's probably he had a good start, um, and probably only had one and a half decent games really with the ball. So he's not giving you an enormous amount. Um, it, it may be something that they would look at. I don't know whether they'll look at that while they're still going okay. But in these sorts of tournaments, if you if you let it go for too long, uh, you might be out of the tournament before you decide to make a change. It, it, it may be worth an opportunity now. The other thing they could do is they could go back to Akash Deep, who was pretty good, uh, and play just four quicks, play four quicks, and get Maxwell and uh, the way SRH do, uh, get Maxwell Shabazz. and Shabazz to give them four overs. Maxwell and Shabazz, four, four overs. Play four quicks like Sunrisers are doing. Mm -hmm. Sunrise have won five on the trot playing four quicks. Yeah. And that allows you to then play another overseas, uh, an another overseas batsman in place yeah. of Anuj Rawat. Yeah.